Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan and Eric here from Tower Reviews, and today we're going to be doing a comparison and speed test of three devices. We got the iPod Touch 5th generation on the left, iPad mini in the center, and iPhone 5 on the right. So these two pretty much are identical in terms of specs. They both have the A5, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabyte internal storage. And then we've got the 16 gigabyte white iPhone 5 on the right with A6 and 1 gigabyte of RAM. They're already powered down, so we're going to do a boot up test right now. Um, one, two, three. Okay, so we got the Apple logo on all of them. Um, we got the Retina 4-inch displays on the two on the right and left, which is 324 pixels per inch. And the iPad, which is not Retina, which actually, oddly enough, won the speed test of the boot up. And it has 163 pixels per inch. So let's get into all of them. Alright, so we're in now, and we're going to start out by doing the Geekbench uh, benchmark test. Go. Alright, so the iPad's a little behind, but um, sh pretty much started all the same times. So, my predictions, we got these running about the same, maybe this one a little slower, and the iPhone 5 should do the best because of the uh, upgraded internal specifications. All right, so the iPhone is having a pretty impressive score right now at 1646. Okay, so iPad mini got 756, still somewhat respectable. And the iPod Touch got 625. All right, so that sums up that portion. We're just going to um, quickly clear out the stuff. All right, here we go. One, two, three. I've had many one. And they're all done now. So let's scroll around real quick, and they should all be able to handle it rather well. Yep, so scrolling is smooth and fluid on every device. It's just you're going to get some more screen real estate, obviously, on the iPad. One, two, three. All right, so again, the iPad mini rolled out the grass the fastest. So that just shows you that specs aren't everything. The iPad was faster in almost everything other than just the Geekbench results. So you're probably not going to be deciding whether or not to get an iPad or an iPhone and an iPad, obviously, because they're completely different devices and you're going to need both of the, you're going to need the phone anyway, so you're not going to decide to get an iPad over it. So uh, if you're deciding between the iPad and the iPod Touch, um, they're relatively close in price point. It's just going to depend on what you're planning to use it for. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching.